I can't open bottles with twist off caps. <sighs> At least not easily. The struggle! Aha! Success! Yes! Okay, hi. I barely slept. Definitely um, wish that I had uh, gotten a little bit more sleep, but um, we've got some energy drinks. I don't drink coffee, so caffeine and the occasional energy drink, which by the way, this is like the only energy drink that I can stomach. Um, other than like the five hour energy shots, only because they're so tiny, I can, I can put up with it. Anyway, the actual reason, ah, it's been a morning. Oh my God. The actual reason for this video, I wanted to talk about some of my indie stuff, um, jewelry, perfume, makeup. Um, I just, I have a whole bunch of indie stuff here. I'm relatively new to indie makeup. I've, I've bought like indie, indie art. Would you call it indie art? I've bought like art from artists, um, crafts from artists, things like that, whenever I, I've been able to. And um, I'm really happy with pretty much all of like the art and stuff that I've bought. But as far as like indie brands, um, that's kind of a new thing for me. Um, why is my camera blinking? Why are you blinking? You're still recording. I don't, I don't know why it's blinking. Anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about um, like the indie palettes, indie makeup that I have. I've got some other indie stuff here too, but it's mostly makeup, um, mostly palettes. Um, I'll start with something that I'm a little bit like meh with, and I don't know where I got this because I don't have anything else from a brand called Shiro Cosmetics. I Maybe I picked this up at um, as like a bonus from buying something from a convention, because I have a couple things that I've purchased from conventions, like, you know, anime conventions, gaming conventions, things like that. But it's called Shiro Cosmetics, and it's a Game of Thrones themed um, pigment, and it's called You Know Nothing, Jon Snow reference, if you're unfamiliar with Game of Thrones and it's basically it's a pretty simple pigment and I put it in this jar myself it was one of those ones that it just came in like a little plastic baggie it doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of pigment to it I could maybe pack it on to like a glitter glue and get something out of it but like can we, can we zoom in and see So it, it's there, it's just not like, you know, amazing. Nice close up of the lips as I said, amazing. Um, I mean it's, it's pretty, but you probably can't even tell that it has a blue shift because the blue shift is so subtle. It's almost like, it's almost like the white base duochrome shades but without the duochrome. It's just like a lot flatter. I, I, starting off with a good note. I don't hate that I have it, but I don't really reach for it. We'll go into my Suva Beauty stuff next. I have a Hydra liner. I've used this one time. I want to use it some more. Um, it looks a little funky. It's hard to tell when things are in focus. So I hope, I hope that that's in focus. But yeah, it looks a little funky. I don't know if that's normal, because again, this is the only one I have from Suva of the Hydra liners and I don't have I don't have anything to compare it with and I haven't used it again but yeah I don't know like the the oranginess that happens like at the top and it's kind of pulling away from the sides which again it's a water activated eyeliner so like I'm not too terribly concerned but I do want to play with it some more um, cause it, that happened after the first time I used it, so I'm just a little bit like, 
I don't know much about it, but the one time I used it, it worked great. I loved it. Uh, and then I have their Block Party palette, which I love the packaging on this. Love, love, love this dark blue matte and this dark green matte. Beautiful. I've also used um, this pink a couple times and this purple. I want to reach into this more for sure. I've barely used the pink. I don't think I've used the white at all. Um, yeah, I need I need to test out the rest of the colors. But uh, what I have used in this is fucking fantastic. And like the packaging is so cute. Uh, and then we got Alamar Cosmetics, which I got this in a BoxyCharm. Uh, I used to get BoxyCharm and like Ipsy and all that. I don't anymore. Yeah, I like this. It's pretty. The shimmers are fucking beautiful. Like this color right here, I... It's like a gold, but not, and it's super fucking metallic. I love putting that and the um, the more pinky shade Lacosta next to it. I love putting those on my lid and just having like the super pretty shimmery oh, 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 give me. It's so good, so good. I really like this palette. I need to reach into it more. The, I do remember the mattes being good, but again, I've mostly just used the shimmers. This was the first palette I ever bought. Was it? Or was this or the Naked palette? I can't remember now actually if it was this or the Naked too, but I got them about the same time. I'm pretty sure this was either the first or second palette that I got. I want to say it was the first. And I almost never reach for this. I need to. I need to, especially because it's a couple years old now. The purple does have dents in it, I will say that. The black I've barely used. Ooh, it chunked up a little bit. Ooh, yeah, the black, she's chunky. I'm wondering if the black is maybe just a little bit dried out because it definitely has a different texture than the rest of them. Here, let me add a little bit more to that white. I think the color in this I've used the most is probably that white. I, uh, I need to make note to reach into this more so that I can like make a decision on if I actually am wanting to keep this. But um, yeah, this is the only sugar pill I have. Uh, it's the cold chemistry palette, if I didn't mention that. Um, everyone kept telling me, like, when I was first getting the makeup, like, oh, get Sugar Pill. They're what you want to play with for color. Um, so I did, but at the time, I was far too afraid of color to, like, do anything with it. So I I kind of never really used it. Um, now I play with color more, so I need to, I need to be popping into that sucker. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Does Dose of Colors still count as indie because they're being sold at like Sephora and stuff, right? Or Ulta? Whatever. I think they're still considered indie. I think. If not, ignore it. Um, but yeah, I've got the Desi and Katie thingamabobber. I don't really know anything about Desi or Katie. I don't think I've ever watched any of their videos. I was just really obsessed with these three shimmers here when I saw it and like everything I saw using them I was just like I really want this <laughs> and I like this palette a lot like all of the shimmers I love them um, the mattes you can tell I haven't dipped into the mattes quite as much because I, I, I actually I have put a little bit of use into this one here um, but yeah like I don't know I, I just I find myself being drawn to the shimmers in this palette way more than the the mattes. I almost said the neutrals, but I mean the, the mattes are neutrals, but you get what I mean. Let's talk about my Creepy Cute palette by Strobe Cosmetics, which are apparently about to ch What is on my palette? There's gunk on my palette. There's a little black spot. What the hell? I don't know what that is. Anyway, yeah, Creepy Cute palette little little bit of like pastels with the black here and the gray I really like this palette 
I like this palette a lot. I definitely prefer this pastel palette to the pastel goth, though I do still use that. Um, not a fan of Kat Von Disease, we've already discussed this in a couple videos ago, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I bought stuff from her, so I'm gonna use it, but I don't buy from her anymore. Um, but yeah, this, great, unproblematic. I'm sure they vaccinate their kids. Yeah, I don't know. I, apparently they're changing their name to Shroud Cosmetics. I kinda don't get why. I mean, you know, you do you, but I always find it interesting when indie brands change their names because there's already some uh, name recognition here, right? Strobe Cosmetics. This palette's been out for so long, this palette's kind of, I guess, like you could say a cult classic. It's like, it's like Makeup Monsters, we'll get to that. Um, okay, so yeah, Creepy Cute palette, love that thing. Um, let's talk Incendio. So Incendio Beauty, I found out about them through Twitch because um, their owner streams on Twitch. And, you know, I, I do makeup streams here and there, our paths crossed, and she's a sweetheart. I really, really love, like, t chatting with her. And um, she stops by my streams sometimes. That said, I've bought all of this myself. All of this I bought myself, so don't think that I'm, like, sponsored or, you know, got anything for free or um, any of that stuff. Not that that's anything bad, but, like, you get what I'm saying. This is unbiased. Uh, in fact, I'm going to tell you about a product I didn't like. So, um, I have two of their eyeliners. I have Basilisk and Poseidon. Uh, it's a, a dark navy blue and, like, a dark forest green. I love these. I need a better eyeliner brush. Please suggest me like a good eyeliner brush that I can get like a nice crisp wing a ding thing from. And then I have three of her liquid lipsticks. I had four. I got rid of one. I don't suggest the color Dark Fairy. Um, she's, she did say that she's reformulating that one. But um, as far as I know right now, Dark Fairy is still the old formula and I think she's like phasing it out. Uh, even before she does the, um, the, um, revamping of it. Um, okay, so those of you who know my lipstick declutter, all of my lipsticks have gotten the lipstick declutter sticker. So don't think that that's, like, a marking it for throwing it out. All of them did. I've already tested this one. I fucking love this one. If you get any colors from them, Vampirous 100%, fucking gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Here, we'll just add to the swatches over here. Love, love, love this color. Absolutely stunning. So fucking comfortable. Extremely comfortable, you guys. Like, it does dry down. It will transfer, like, if you're eating or, you know, you'll see a little bit come up on your straw. So it's not like the kind where it'll like dry down and be unmovable, but it's extremely comfortable. It doesn't dry your lips out, especially if you put like a little bit of a balm. Don't put a lot, cause then it, it, it'll transfer quite a bit. But like if you put just a, like the thinnest layer of lip balm and you put one of these fuckers on, it's comfort, it's beautiful, it wears away pleasantly. It doesn't chip away, it doesn't flake off, it doesn't look gross, it layers over itself beautifully. <sighs> I love you. I love you. I have their shade Grey Lady, same experience. Um, I need to use this one more. This is a metallic shade. Oh, let me swatch Grey Lady. Some, some swatches here of most of these. Like, it's gray, but the undertone is so different from my other gray lipsticks. Like I have, I have this gray from Wet n Wild. It's like just you see the difference. It's so unique. I don't have any other colors like that. I love it. Same formula, um, in my experience, to um, Vampress. I just, I haven't done my declutter wear test for that one yet. Um, but yeah, the, the red that I have, um, it's a metallic. 
but it's not like super sheeny. So I feel like it's like a really subtle metallic. It is very pretty, but I need to I need to do a wear test because I think I've only worn that one once. So I need to. Yeah, it's it's still going through my declutter. Um, let's stick with lipsticks for now before I wipe all of these off my arm. So I did a Kickstarter a long time ago. Um, this is probably considered expired by now. <laughs> Look, I am one of those people, I will use a product until it doesn't work right anymore or it smells funky. That's me. I'm that bitch. Um, but yeah, this, it's called Fantasy Allure and it was like a Kickstarter indie thing that I did. Um, it's got like funky packaging that's supposed to, I guess, look like a crown. And it is a red that's kind of a little on the chunky side because it has glitter in it. But I do remember this being very pretty. It's almost the same shade, actually, as, as the Incendio Beauty one. But the Incendio doesn't have glitter. This has gold glitter in it. It's like a really subtle gold glitter. But there's that, and it's called Fantasy Allure. I have no idea if the brand is still around. This was technically my first indie brand item. I, I know nothing about the brand. I should probably look into it. I wonder if they're still around. I wonder if she's still making stuff. No idea. When they were still makeup monsters, I had one liquid lipstick from them. I do like this liquid lipstick. This is the color Black and Tart. Now that they are makeup menagerie, they... Excuse you. Well, it's never done that before. Is there glue on this that has worn off? Like what? I was gonna say that I love the packaging for Makeup Monsters. That's the first time that it's like broken on me. But like I love the design. I guess my camera doesn't want to focus that close up. Which go figure, it's not a macro lens. Yeah, I love the design. And I love the, like the green little drippies. I love this color. They don't have this color anymore. You can tell that I really like dark, vampy, fucking reds. They're beautiful. I love them. I have way too many. This this might end up getting decluttered because the packaging is now broken, but we'll see. I got to use it again. Um, so while they were still makeup monsters, they came out with the Dragon Child palette. Again, love the packaging because, ooh, shiny. Love the art on the inside. Pretty, pretty. There you go. This is relatively new to me. I got this right before they discontinued it, so yay. I've only had this for a few months. Love it so far, though. Especially this shade. Oh my god. So fucking pretty. And then when I ordered that, I also ordered the Feral palette. This is a hefty fucking palette. Like this, it's, it's hefty. And I, as you can see, I got the one that had like the two redone shades. Cause I guess when this, this first came out, this, there had two different colors here. And I think the complaint was that the colors were like two different, um, or sorry, too similar to like these other, there's a cat hair. Uh, too similar to the other mattes or something. Um, but yeah, I really love this palette. This shade right here and this shade right here. Beautiful. Definitely, definitely suggest that. And again, they're Feral Cosmetics. Used to be Makeup Monsters. Same brand. I, I don't really know why... Or sorry, not Feral Cosmetics. Menagerie. Feral's the name of the palette. Menagerie Cosmetics. Um, I don't fully understand why they did the name change. Um, I know now they're donating um, uh, part of their proceeds to like animal conservation, uh, animal charities and stuff. I feel like they could have done that with Makeup Monsters still. But you know, they wanted to do a name change, they did a name change. Um, all right, one more smaller brand that I've got here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show these other pigments that I have from Incendio. So back to Incendio, 
Uh, when I put in orders from them, they sent me little packets of their pigments. So this pink one kind of has a little bit of that duochrome, like pink to gold shift. I think could be really cool packed on top of a glitter glue. And then that shade is called Aura. And let me just swatch the other one and then I'll show you both at the same time. This one is called Harvest Moon, I think it was. Look. Yes. I feel like the Harvest Moon one has more pigment to it, but they're both very pretty. Funky swatches incoming. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, shut up, phone. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> You can see kind of kind of basic shades, but pretty. I think that they would layer nicely on top of a glitter glue. On their own, they're a little bit like, mm, okay, you know, they're a thing, they exist. I ain't mad at it. So I have another friend that I met through streaming and she does some really fantastic stuff. She makes jewelry, she makes headdresses, um, horns, um, she makes candles, she does 3D printed stuff. Um, God, she just, she really does a lot. She does pins. Um, yeah, she does a lot of really, really neat things. And last year, I think it was, I picked up a necklace that she had on sale, which is this, like, Ouija, um, what are they called? Pa not a paddle. Planchette. Sorry, yeah. Ouija planchette. And I think it's really fucking cute, and I love this necklace, and like, whenever I'm wearing like a, a dress that has like a really deep V, and I'm like all in black, stick this shit on and I feel so cool. Uh, I love this thing. But this is Steam Wolf Symphony, and then she also makes candles, and she kind of has like her own like name for the candles. Those are Mythos candles. I haven't tried like the full size, but I ordered a bunch of wax melts from her. Those were great. Um, I got like a tea light set sampler, so I have used some of her candles. They smell very, like they, they have like pretty damn good scent through. Like I can't burn them in my office because they're pretty strong, but they're great downstairs. Um, a lot of really strong scents, so definitely if like you're sensitive to scents, maybe, maybe just get the tea lights, um, to start with to see if you, if you like it. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend checking them out. Oh, and I'll have, I'll have all these Indie Brands, uh, linked down below too. I just recently got some Midas Cosmetics stuff. Definitely first saw these with, uh, Smoky Glow. Um, but then I, I looked them up and uh, I watched other people going over them and the price is pretty good on these. So I was just like, fuck it, we're gonna try it. I like this palette a lot. This to me is better than the ColourPop uh, Honey palette, uh huh, Honey or whatever it's called, because it doesn't have a pressed glitter in it. So I'm really happy that I went with this and not the ColourPop one. I love ColourPop. I have a whole fuck ton of ColourPop, but yeah. Uh, and then I got the Love Is Love palette um, because I loved that they were donating um, to the Trevor Project. I can't remember if it was all profits or percentage. I think it was a percentage. I'm sure you can Google it if you're curious, but yeah, the Trevor Project is a great organization. I don't know when that cut off, so I, th I think it just did. Um, I was just talking about how um, I haven't dipped into the Pride palette as much, and in case in case it did cut off this part, um, part of the proceeds or the whole proceeds, I can't remember which. You have to Google it. Uh, was donated to the Trevor Project, um, and this was the only Pride thing that I bought. Definitely recommend if you're gonna buy anything for Pride, try to make sure that money is going to LGBT plus um, charities. So that's that. My new collection, which if you've seen it in my other recent videos, because I'm pretty sure the, these are gonna go up before this. We'll see though. Um, I got the Kaleido stuff. I'm really excited. Um, I got the entire set. So we've got the the, the first palette, the Sci-Fi Green, the Futurism palette. Fucking beautiful. Boom. We've got, I'm gonna show them in order because I'm that bitch. We've got the Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. 
boom, beautiful. We've got the Astro Pink Futurism 3, a boom, love it. We've got the Futurism 4, the VR Neon. Can't wait to use this. I wish I could use this today, but uh, as you can see, I don't have anything on my eyes. I don't normally do more than one makeup look in a day, and I did two yesterday um, for some videos. And um, my eyes get a little bit sensitive um, when it comes to my makeup remover. And apparently using it twice in one day just push them over the edge. So they're getting a break today, no eyeshadow. So this is kind of my like lazy, not no makeup, but still very light makeup, makeup look. There's gotta be a better name for that, but I don't fucking know. And then we've got the uh, Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. Boom. Beautiful. Mm. The palettes that I used yesterday um, in those looks were, were these two babies right here. Love them. Here comes the biggest collection of indie shit. Juvia's Place. <sighs> Least favorite that I have is the Nubian. I almost never reach into this, it's just neutrals. I do reach into it occasionally. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just, I rarely go this plain with my eyeshadow. I'm, I'm more heavily into color. So like lots of purples, lots of blues, things like that. This is the uh, Saharan Desert, not Saharan Desert, just the Saharan palette. This is one that I don't reach into too often as far as the Juvia's Place stuff goes, but I do really like this like silver that's one that I have reached into quite a bit the Afrique palette I've definitely dabbled in that blue I've used the green a little bit but the colors in here that I've used the most that little dude right there that little dude right there and this little dude right here yeah I like this palette I have probably used the deuce Douce, Douce, I think it's Douce, but I hear people call it the Douce, and I'm like, are you just being fancy, or is that what it's actually called? I don't know. The Douce palette. Um, I probably reach into this the most. I fucking love these two shades right here. This, this, this. Beautiful. Love it. This brown, I kind of don't like all that much. I feel like something about this brown doesn't want to stick to my eye, but... Everything else, fucking fantastic. I just usually have to reach into a different brown if I'm using a brown. But to be honest with this palette, I don't typically use the brown anyway. But beautiful, love this. This might be a contender for favorite Juvia's Place palette. With this being the other one, I reach into this quite a bit, especially this dual chrome right here. The like goldy green, I use that as an inner core highlight so fucking much. Love this palette. Highly, highly, highly suggest those last two. And then I have the Festival. This big bitch right here. I'll definitely prefer the mini pans. Um, so like from now on, like I'm, tr I try, I'm trying to wait out for like the smaller pans. Um, which actually, tri palette wasn't smaller, is it? No, the tri palette was bigger pans. I definitely prefer when they're the smaller pans, but um, yeah, love this. As long as it's like a smaller palette at least, like this size palette, I'm cool with this. Um, I have the Saharan 2, love this. I don't get much use out of the mattes, but I, you know, have used these quite a bit, um, like these three right here. I've used that one a couple times too. Good, good shit. I just hit myself in the face. I want to hit my glasses. Um, and then we have the Masquerade Mini. Thank fuck I have the Mini. Because this is a huge palette already. But, uh, I think I might be allergic to this blue. I need to do more testing. But I feel like every time I've worn this blue, it's, like, irritated my eyes. 
I need to one day just do that blue, like just pack that blue on the lid, leave it, see if it irritates me. If it does, that sucks. But uh, love this palette, even even if that blue does irritate my eyes. And the Magic Mini, another one that I'm so happy that I have the mini of, because th th this is this is all you need. Like you don't you don't need the giant pans. Well, at least I don't. I you might. I don't know. I don't know your life. You fucking do what you want. And then the Nubian too. Yeah, I don't reach into this one super often. You can definitely tell that I've put some use into this guy here and the blue. You can kind of tell I've used the blue. Um, but again, I keep my palettes pretty clean, so sometimes it's a little hard to tell what I've used. That, I think, is all of my indie stuff. Maybe I can do another one of these videos where it's like my ColourPop and my BH Cosmetics because I kind of like look at those as being very similar. Um, I could definitely... Maybe Morphe too. I feel like Morphe, ColourPop, and like BH Cosmetics are kind of on the same level where they're not indie, but they're not like the Tarts and the Urban Decay. Um, they're, they're just kind of doing their own thing and whether you like it or hate it, I don't feel like they fall into either category. So maybe I could do that, and then maybe I could do another video showing the rest of my palettes. Maybe? I think that's it. I think that's all of my indie stuff. Um, definitely, if you have any indie brand suggestions, let me know. Uh, especially if they've got like any kind of like spooky or like alternative aesthetic. <sighs> give me, give me the spooky. Give me the spooky. Give me the spooky. Please, please. I want, I want the spooky. I want, I need something to replace Kat Von Disease is basically what I'm saying. I want the vibe of Kat Von Disease, but without the disease. That's, that's all I want. Is that too much to ask? Maybe. Um, I don't really know how to end my videos yet. We've, I, have a good day. Okay, bye. <laughs>